Now welcome back to Atlas Garage. We're back and working on these axles. Stick around. So welcome back. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of filming today. Sorry. Uh, nice day, but we got. 40 and 50 mile an hour winds today, so I'm not getting a whole lot done out here today. Did get a little bit done this week at work. I was able to machine out the knuckle that I cut off yesterday, the C I cut off a couple of days ago. Got it machined out and slipped on. Just a hair oversized. Uh, the mill I'm using an old bridge port even though with the table locked down it was just rocking just a touch and i got a little big on this end i dimpled the uh tube up i took a light tapping to get it to press on i have the rear end set up with the pinion at 10 degrees or excuse me nine degrees to my transfer case and then i've got the c set at six degrees for caster uh, i know it's not really necessary for a rear axle a rear steer axle, I should say, but uh, it doesn't hurt for it to help it self center. But anyway, we've got it tacked in place, uh, making some modifications to the truss I've got welded on there. I got uh, did buy a new Bauer uh, deep cut bandsaw, portable bandsaw. Uh, we'll be giving that thing a test, maybe a review on it, to see how well it works. Because I still have, other than my mess over here, which I'm waiting to throw away, I still have this axle to break down and cut off. And then this one's going to need all of its brackets removed. So we have plenty of hacking and cutting to do uh, between a sawzall cutoff wheel and a power saw. I'm hoping to make some short work of it. But anyway, I'm going to take it off here. It's uh, getting kind of chilly. I think I'm pretty much done for tonight. i do some drawing. Maybe I'll pick it up with uh, some Fusion 360. Stick around. We'll find it. Right, walk back out with Scrunch. Sunday. Got a few pieces drawn up in uh, Fusion. <clears throat> Get ready to cut the second one here. See if I can get it done right.
All right. Those are my end pieces for the truss at the end of the housings. Also incorporated a D-ring slash tie-down for the axle. Stick around. We'll knock these things out of here. We'll get them upstairs and outside and see how they fit. Oh, welcome back. Got the pieces cleaned up. Got the truss notched. <clears throat> and these are just going to be uh, some braces, some tie-down points for the axle. If you'll excuse the smoke, Junior over there doing the pork butt and trying to light off some wet wood. Yeah. A lot of rain and wind yesterday, so. But that said, this is where I'm at right now. This side needs to be recut. I'm long here, so I need to cut back here. I'll make it the same length as here. Be another piece here to capture this and cap it. Both sides. On both sides. And then I'm going to draw up my link mount lower link mount and coil bucket mount as a combination got a few ideas on how i'm going to do that but anyways stick around we'll get these things tacked in here be right back all right i got my pieces welded in i got my top of my truss tacked on let's see here cut Got the same distance from here to here and here to here. Obviously, I came up a bit short. I'll have to extend that piece. Cap the ends. And then there'll be a couple of pieces scabbed on the back here to, to fill in. Because this is just eighth inch. I'll put another piece of eighth inch in there to double that up. And then the front, of course, will be a build out to run a ram. And as you probably can surmise, I'm going to run coils back here so that's approximately where the coil is going to sit i'm thinking of doing i don't have the money to do coil overs and all that good stuff i wish i did but i don't so i mean low buck i mean that is all i really got to do here so anyway i'd like to reuse my existing shock so i'm thinking about doing i got anything drawn up on the 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 four link calculator and I've got good numbers so I know what I can do there and I get I can definitely set it up the way I've got it set up on the calculations uh, 84% anti-squat with uh, zero access roll so it should be a pretty good setup but I'm thinking about just doing like a trailing arm you know pre-runner trailing arm on the lower and running the shock up here and these are just i think the rusties or rubicon express four and a half inch coils for an xj gonna make a mount be a combination coil bucket lower link mount and uh all right anyways this is the uh four link calculations i've come up with and let's see here. There's the other side of it. Those are the numbers I'm aiming for. Come on, focus. And that's an axle I found online that I'm kind of going to mimic with doing a front mounted ram. And I don't know where I'm at up here. Da, 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 da. That is the same rear end and back. And uh, I got some pieces to make. I got to design the upper link mounts. But anyway, that's kind of what I'm going to mimic. I thought I'd toss this right in here. Anyway, back to the regularly scheduled programming now so it's a beautiful day i really didn't feel like grunting it and the way things smell here our uh, pork butt's about ready so anyway just a short video today uh didn't video a lot of a lot of stuff going on around here for kids coming and going and granddaughter and such so but we did get some stuff done but this is the rear stair build continuing 
still do have the uh, feed roller going on there. I just need to get off my button. I got to drill and tap some holes to get that back together, finished up, and painted. But, uh, anyways, that was Garage. Hope you like what you see. Like, subscribe, comment below. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Anyway, hope you all had a good weekend. Good night.